Good morning, folks. It's Doug here at Southern Songbird Farm. Today is Chick Day, um, May the 13th. Uh, it's been a pretty rough uh, spring for us with the chicks. Our chicks were scheduled to go out last week, but we've had two temperatures this week in the 20s here on our farm. So we kept them in just to, uh, to help them get through. It's pretty rough on them. Um, got a few things we're going to do this morning. I've got to get my... Um, trailer that we transport to feed in we have a small trailer that we use with a deep freeze an old deep freeze on it and that's where we keep our feed when we do our chicks out on pasture we just uh, fill it up twice a week and it does pretty well i'll take you over here and show you show you what we got here you can see it's just on a small very small trailer we can pull around the gator very efficient that way we don't have to get the big tractor out every time we do anything and here's what we keep our stuff in this is our, uh, right here, old gravity bed. It works very well. I have to keep it inside of the tarp because um, I don't have a efficient roof on it. And the reason I have to do this is because feed trucks can't get to my, into my barn and, and down to where we're at here. So I have to take that to the road and put feed in it and then uh, transport it down here. So I have to keep it in there just so they can, uh, so we can have it available. So that's why I have to use the, the small trailer. So. I've got to go here and I've got to make sure the tires are pumped up and get a few things done. And then we're going to fill this thing up and then we're going to start moving birds out here very shortly, probably within an hour or so. And uh, we'll be right back with you. All right, folks, we've got the trailer ready. We've got it filled up. We had some other stuff that we've got to do. You can see John up there. He's up there getting his stuff down. What we're getting down is we're getting down the transport uh, crates. Uh, you can see what he's got up there. Those are the nipple waters that we use inside. They're just a four foot uh, PVC pipe, four nipples on each one. And then I use these buckets, as you can see right there. I use uh, a double system, two buckets feed into one, and then they, that helps with the gravity flow, and plus that keeps, uh, keeps enough water for the birds. So we're getting everything. raining on a May afternoon in middle May so it is what it is we're packing up now here we go are you counting? no that's okay go ahead we're counting in there we're counting in there Okay, so while we were uh, doing some of this setting up and stuff, I meant to tell you and totally forgot, but as you can see out through, you'll see this, this mowed off area. I mowed it off about three or four days ago. And there's two reasons why I do that. Number one is the chicks at this age, whenever they go in, uh, it allows them to feel like they can roam about and not smothered by the grass. And the other thing is it helps with predators. You know, the shorter you keep the grass, hopefully the less the predator pressure will be. We won't have to deal with it. So, as you can see, we've mowed it off. Now, as the birds move forward, we're probably gonna have to mow it off again, just to keep ahead of it. But this is normally, as you can see, this is all our hay field and pasture field. Um, this is all gonna be cut for hay here shortly. So, just wanted to explain to you why the runway was there. We just try to keep the grass about three or four inches. Okay, so we typically use salatin style uh, houses, as you can see in the back tractors but this year we are going to do one hoop house just to see how it goes so we're putting them in there right now the salatin style tractors we will put 70 birds in how many are we put in this one uh, we're, gonna try 40 right now. we're gonna do 40 for right now in this uh, hoop style tractor and so we're just unpacking birds so unfortunately this is not the ideal situation um, we are kind of caught between a rock and a hard place 
We've left these birds in the brooder an extra week thanks to the temperatures in Kentucky. We've had um, record freezes down into the 20s. I lost all my asparagus. I know there's people who have suffered a lot worse than us who've lost fruit trees and the whole nine yards. So we were kind of left with the decision of at this point in the brooder, they're wanting to pile and run over top of each other. So we're getting little skin tears and things like that. So we had to make the decision that tonight, even though it's rainy and kind of cool today, it's not going down um, below 55. So we had to make a decision to just get them on out today. Um, the rest of the week should be sunny and a lot warmer, which is a good thing. So um, if they can just make it through today and kind of transition, I think they'll be a lot better. As you can see behind me, they have managed to find their food um, and their water. Um, they're still wanting to huddle a little bit under the cover, which is okay because it's dry under there. We've had these in position for weeks now, so it should be nice and dry underneath there. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to, to get these out and have a good batch. Um, we started with, I think, 598. I'll have to check. It was just a little bit under 600 um, from the mail. And we have put out, let's see. Doug, do you have a total? He's going to get us a total of what actually made it to pasture. Um, we've had an incredible amount of loss with this batch. We've had a major issue with our processor. So this may be the only batch we do for the year. We were anticipating doing three times this much. So um, in true 2020 fashion, it's been kind of a crap year. <laughs> so it is what it is. And we're just looking forward to um, seeing how these grow and hopefully we'll end up with a good, decent batch. Did you get the total? 529. The grand total was 529 is what we've got here out on pasture, which is an incredible loss starting with almost 600. Um, you should anticipate losing about 10% of your batch for the entire time you have them. So just in the first two and a half, three weeks we've been here, they've lost that much. So um, that's not ideal, but it is what it is and we'll just keep going. So we'll keep you updated on everything. Thanks for watching.